uh, Football Federation Australia, Chris uh, Niku. Today, FIFA Council has made not one but two countries extremely happy uh, and our football families here are rejoicing. We are pleased with what we have been given. We know there is work to be done, but our pledge to the FIFA family is that we will leave no stone unturned to produce the best Women's World Cup and to help FIFA meet its objectives around the women's game globally and, and more immediately in the Asian Pacific region. Uh, in this uh, press conference, uh, now we're going to start... Uh... This, uh, after the Men's World Cup, the biggest sporting event uh, of one single sport generally in, around the world, and we need to build on that, and that's why we don't want just to sit and wait until 2023, uh, because we have ambitious targets in terms of uh, uh, not only doubling the number of um, uh, women and girls playing football, but uh, we want to make it really part of society. We want women's football to be part of society. And From uh, New Zealand, uh, Michael Burgess, uh, had a lot. I believe uh, maybe for the future we should uh, bring, and I mentioned this to the council members earlier as well, and to the Confederation's presidents yesterday, we should bring maybe this decision as well to the FIFA Congress um, to decide, because uh, there is no reason to treat men and women differently, why the Men's World Cup has to be decided by the, counts, by the Congress, sorry, and the Women's World Cup by the Council doesn't really make much sense to me. We can have a more democratic process, even by involving the Congress, the member associations of uh, FIFA. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, I think this is, uh, this is certainly something we need to consider and think about for the future. Um, Associated Press, Graham, can you hear us? Can. But maybe, maybe, you know, uh, from all of these uh, proposals that I made, I made five proposals last year, uh, maybe actually the sixth proposal is the best one. And it was not from me, so we have to leave to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. It was proposed in the press, in the press conference, so it's, it's obviously public by the president of the French Football Federation, uh, who said, well, the Women's World Cup should take place every two years rather than every four years, because we need to boost women's football, and there is nothing more important than organizing such a World Cup in addition to participating, of course. Can, uh, I can hear you. I hope you can hear me. Yes, for sure. Uh, um, well, I, I, I believe uh, uh, South America should have a Women's World Cup, definitely. Definitely, uh, South America should have one uh, in the near future. That's why maybe the, the, the World Cup every two years is a good option in this respect, because with a World Cup, you can really boost um, women's football in a continent which is football crazy, like, uh, uh, like South America. Let's try to go back to Thomas Smithies in Australia to see if we hear them. Um, 